I'm not going to put the normal intro, the Matt Lucas intro to this video today because as you can probably tell from the title this video isn't the most cheerfulest videos because I'm talking about something really close to my heart and I'm trying to convey as much emotion in my voice because I want to help people and I think by having a comedy character at the start of saying hello I'm David, I'm David Williams it's not really going to yeah, I'm going to tell you a story kind of thing that kind of, it breaks my heart a little bit and I'm going to tell you what it is. For the past two years of my life or so, I have been wearing bracelets on my right wrist. Now, underneath my bracelets is just skin and bone and the veins and stuff. People have come up to me and they've known that I've made videos about self-harm before and they've asked me is that where you cut then? No, no it's not where I cut what I did for the very 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 few times I did but also just because I'm wearing bracelets doesn't mean I have scars it just means that perhaps I find bracelets cool because I do find bracelets cool Bracelets are awesome, in my opinion. I'm literally that sad. I'm like a four-year-old girl, but I don't care. Bracelets are awesome. I'm trying to adjust it right now. I'm not trying to kiss them or anything. I mean, it isn't just physical scars. Mental scars as well. We all have mental scars in our brains and hearts and stuff, you know? All the scars on my body right now are not self-inflicted. There are three scars on my body right now. There is this scar on my elbow. When I was younger, I was cycling my bike and I rode into a car. I didn't get run over, I ran over a car on a push bike and instead of me doing that and using my hands, I did that. So I put my elbow on the road and as I was moving along a little bit and it just and oh. And the other scar on my body, I'm going to try and zoom in on the editing there on my chin and that is a football injury yes I used to play football quite a lot at school and stuff and basically a friend of mine was running along and I was running along too and he collided with me and his tooth went into my chin and it stayed there for a little bit and then fell on the floor and I was like oh and I didn't realize it was bleeding at the time and it fell on the floor and I was like no, 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 not my chin, his tooth. God, no, that'd be terrifying, but like, but. So my, my grandma's asleep, and it's like, I don't want to wake her up by going, I didn't know I was bleeding at the time, and I was just carried on playing football, and then my white shirt just got, like, a bit of red on me, like in um, Shaun of the Dead, when you, you've got red on you. <laughs> and, um, yeah, so people were saying, Sam, are you okay? And I was like, yeah, I'm fine. And then I saw the blood, I was like, Oh, maybe I'm not alright then. And then I went a bit faint, and then I was sort of escorted to the medical room. And I went to A&E, yay! And I had butterfly stitches, which I thought were really, really cute, because butterfly stitches, but they're not as cute as they sound. And the third one, which is on my face somewhere, I keep forgetting where it is, it's not, it's not visible very often, only in certain light, if that makes sense. And basically when I was about three or two or four, one of those ones, I was in a fire. The flat above, the, the flat below my flat, or my, my, my mum's flat, caught fire and the flame went up. And basically I noticed the fire and the floor was going black and I decided to get out of my cot. And by doing that I caught my cheek on the side of the cot, which meant that it was cut open and not nice, not nice at all. Scars are things that every single human has at some point in their timeline they will get a scar and at some point in their timeline they will have to tell someone about their scars not necessarily in a YouTube video for 400 or 300 or 4 people to see you know it's it's um it's a very personal thing and Telling someone about self-harming or a personal injury that has happened to you that wasn't even your fault, like it's not, it's not something that you have to tell someone about. 
I'm only doing this because I wanted to get something off my chest, you know. And you know the whole bracelet thing. It's just a shame that bracelet. This is a shame that self harm now has kind of brought through loads of cliches, like you know, because I listen to bands like Twenty One Pilots and like. I used to have a bit of a phase when I used to listen to like sort of fairly dark music that I was some sort of emo or something. No, I was just interested in the lyrics. That's genuinely the reason, you know? It's like with, it's like with 21 Pilots, you know, I'm tempted to have one of their songs on my video right now. They, the bands, I really, really sort of just got into them. But they're fantastic, they're, the lyrics are brilliant and just the story of the band is brilliant as well and because they're still active you know, they're going to release albums soon and it's like, it's so good, you know? It's brilliant to be in that sort of fan base, I guess. It's why I'm, I'm interested in the whole One Direction thing because I like the whole idea of a connected sort of thing, you know? I've tried to make this video as cheerful as possible because why not? You know, I've made so many depressing videos on YouTube and stuff about depression and self-harm and bullying and stuff. If you have scars, and someone asks to see them and you don't feel comfortable about showing them don't show them and if they go oh why not and you think you're better than me they clearly aren't the sort of person that you should be hanging around with if they are that insensitive you know and I know it's like quite a wild you know thing but if people are saying that then get them out of your life Seriously, I didn't tell anyone within the sort of weeks or so when I was doing it. Top farming because I wasn't proud of it, you know. But something that I've taught myself and I've tried to teach others is the fact that in our lives we we make so many mistakes, and it's a th and it's a true fact that without those mistakes. In my life, I wouldn't be here. I wouldn't be in this house. I wouldn't be sitting in this bed. I probably wouldn't be alive. Because genuinely, I, I learned from those mistakes and I realized that, you know, bullying myself, trying to carve myself into someone else probably isn't the best, isn't the, isn't the solution. The solution is to talk to someone about it. And thankfully my mum was there at the time and the school was there at the time and so many people were there, friends are there. If you have scars, don't be ashamed of them because they're battle scars. You've gone through a battle, a personal life battle and you've won because you're still alive, right? Yes, there might be sort of traumatic moments in your life, like in your memory and stuff, but because they're in your memory, they're in the past, right? And yes, you might get flashbacks. Of course you might get flashbacks. I get flashbacks at the moment. I found out my mum passed away, for example. That was a traumatic moment in my life, as you can imagine. And the truth is, like, I'm not saying your mum's gonna die, obviously, I'm just saying that you'll have, you'll have feelings that are equal to that feeling, whether it's a breakup. I know it sounds terrible, but it could be like, you could lose the love of your life and you could feel the heartbreak and stuff. And that is a scar because you, the, the feeling is tattooed into your mind. My sort of subscriber question of the day sort of thing that I want to ask is, what, what were your strategies of getting over your depression or your self-harm? If you don't want to tell YouTube, tell me. And what I will do is I'll write them down and I'll make a video about it. I won't say your name if you don't want me to, but that will genuinely, genuinely help me and I hopefully and hopefully it'll help other people as well. Just your sort of your your theories about getting over self-harm or your strategies or your the things that took your mind off it and stuff. Because, you know, I wanna create this like little bubble of wonderfulness, you know? There's a YouTuber who I want to sort of share to you guys because I think she's fantastic. Her name is Laura and she makes absolutely wonderful videos that are aimed to help people who are going through things like depression and eating disorders and things like that. And, and, and more specifically self-harm scars 
that is why I kind of, it kind of spurred me on a little bit to make this video. But also I've had some comments recently about my bracelets, which is why I wanted to speak about that. I'm sorry if it's quite quiet as well, we'll try and edit it so it's a bit louder, you know, my voice I mean. But yeah, just, if you need to get something off your chest to someone who you care about or someone that you trust, then by all means. And if you need to speak to someone in confidence, then I, again, I'm always here for you guys. And also there are support groups at school, I'm sure there are. And if there isn't, then organise one. You know, that's not a bad thing to do. You know, it's a brilliant idea. Despite how scary the internet can be sometimes, there are wonderful things on there. Despite your story, despite your battle scars, just because you have them doesn't mean that you're a bad person. It just means that you fought your own little war and you've won it for now. And I'm sure with the support of your family, your friends and yourself, and most importantly, you'll win other battles in your life. Whether it be family battles, relationship battles, Christ. Whatever battle you have, fight on and continue to be amazing. I thank you very much for watching. If you like this sort of style of video, then let me know because I would genuinely want, I would genuinely love to hear what you guys think about it and give this video a like. If you enjoy my channel, then subscribe and smile. In order to trust other people, you have to trust yourself. So before you decide to gather around, around the world and say, guys, I trust you, I love you, come here. You know, say to yourself, all right, Sam, I'm not, you know, I'm not saying your name Sam, but this is like the example. All right, Sam, I trust you. Not, not that, not that dramatic, obviously, but you know what I mean. And learn to love yourself. And yeah, all right, guys. I've been dramatic for far too long. Uh, yeah, love you all, and goodbye.